recording now. Okay, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay. Please note that the discussion answers and notes and the feedback provided during this session are anonymous. We want to note that even though our discussion and meeting will be recorded, the data collected will only be used for the in for the intended purpose of gathering research on the intended topic. The notes that we take during our meeting will not be shared or distributed outside of our research. These notes will not link a particular person to a specific statement. Your privacy is important to us. Please try and answer as honestly as possible. This will allow us to have a more accurate collection of data. My group members and I would like to ask if you would try and avoid discussing the comments and responses from other members outside of the focus group. If there is any participant that does not want to answer or take part in this, please let us know now. You do not have to, but we do. We would like for everyone to be involved as much as possible. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to go over the ground rules. Um, make sure to be aware of speaking over others during the discussion. It's important to note that each person will get a chance to speak at a time. Be considerate of one another. Do not be afraid to speak up. And if you find something to say, say it. We want to hear everything and everybody's point of view. There's no stupid questions. No one should feel as if they can't say what they're thinking. Uh, you don't need to be in agreement with each other in the group. There will be an open discussion to hear everyone's views. There's no particular order that everyone will speak in. Are there any questions or concerns? All right, let's begin. Everyone uh, introduce themselves your names. My name is Emmanuel and I was um, invited here by Sophie. My name is Omar. Uh, I was invited here by Joe. My name is Stephanie and I was invited by Sophie. My name is Austin and I was invited here by Kendall. I'm Kyle, also invited by Kendall. My name is Coy and I was invited by Joseph. I'm Geraldine. I've been invited by Stephanie Sophie. I'm Adam, and I was invited by Kendall. All righty, guys. So I'm going to give you all a few moments to think about the experience you have with your shoes. We each have our favorite shoes to work out in. Are there any specific things that you wish you could, um, I'm sorry, that could be done differently to your workout shoes? Anything that could be added or taken away to enhance your experience with them? Um, and if so, would anybody like to share their experience with that? Can you repeat the question? Yeah. Yes. Um, is, uh, are there any specific things that you wish that could be done like differently to your workout shoes? Like anything that could be added or taken away um, than you already have? And then yeah, if you do just kind of share experience. Uh, I personally don't have anything that I would add to my shoes. I think they're pretty comfortable already. So um, I'm pretty happy with what they are. Is everybody good with that? Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, ask a few questions and this will be the end of our questionnaire. I'll try to go through it pretty quickly. So like, let's try to keep it around a minute or so for each um, answer. Um, what kind of shoe are you currently wearing right now, and are they comfortable? Uh, I'm wearing uh, Adidas Ultra Boot. They are pretty comfortable. Uh, I'm wearing the Allbirds. They're I like them. They're not great for like running or anything, but just for everyday wear, I like them. Uh, I'm wearing slides, um, and they're pretty comfortable. I'm not wearing any shoes, just socks, but earlier I was wearing boots. They were pretty comfortable. I'm wearing um, house shoes right now and they're, they're comfortable enough. 
Miss Mary Gohan Jesse for uh, work. All right. Alrighty, guys. How often do you purchase shoes per year, and how many year, uh, how many pairs of shoes would you say that you have right now as of this moment? Like, I have like five pairs of shoes right now, and I probably get like maybe two pairs a year, and then every year I like retire a pair. I uh, personally buy shoes probably once every two years, and I have maybe three or four pairs total right now. And I usually wear them until they fall apart. I have probably five pairs of speakers, and I buy them probably every six to 12 months. And I just do it because I want to buy new shoes. I have about four or five pairs of sneakers, uh, but I buy sneakers maybe once or twice a year but I have a lot of other pairs of shoes. Uh, I have about 10 pairs of shoes and I get about two or three a year, just depending on what I'm looking for. Uh, I have about 10 pairs of shoes or so and buy roughly two to three um, new pairs of like um, workout or running shoes per year. I have at least six pairs, and I usually buy at least two pairs per year. All right, the next question for me is, do you, do, do you looks matter to you as far as like the shoe, the way it looks? Do you value form over function or function over form? And if so, why? Mm -hmm. It really depends find the sneaker for like workout doesn't really matter about the form it's function but like if I'm wearing just a nice pair of sneakers you know I definitely prefer form over function I like to look at both because I like to wear my shoe based on my outfit but I try to find a good balance so also I look for a good function and something that also looks good uh like they were saying the fit if you're using them to work out versus just wearing them around but if they look really terrible I don't care how awesome they are <laughs> I think. I'm um I kind of want uh split form in function I would get a pair of shoes that is um that's functional, but also something that I could wear with almost any workout outfit that I'm wearing. So kind of something basic that's not too flashy, I guess, for workout um, for workout purposes. But if just for lounging around or dressing up, then I think um, how it looks is more important if, than if it's comfortable or not for me. Uh, I think it just depends really what I'm looking for um, and on the situation. All right, guys, how many days a week do you work out? And if so, for how long if you do work out? I work out about three times a week for about an hour each. Yeah, I'd say roughly three to four times a week and run like an hour, hour to an hour 20. About two to four times a week for about 50 minutes to an hour each. Uh, about three to four times a week for about an hour or so. I, uh, I don't generally do planned workouts, but I do athletic activities about twice a week, for about an hour or two at a time. About twice a week, about an hour at a time. About uh, two to three times a week, average of like 45 minutes. I do zero workout. I love the honesty. I really do. <laughs> I do. Because I'm the same way. 
All righty, guys. Next question to you. How um, are your workouts usually light, moderate, or intense in effort? I'd say it varies on what day it is, what the workout is, but it's usually pretty moderate to intense. Me, it depends on how I'm feeling that day, that mood as well. So it could be moderate to intense. I'd say usually pretty moderate. Moderate to intense. Moderate to intense. Uh, moderate to intense for me. All right, you guys, do you have a fitness tracker that you currently use or have used in the past? And if so, what tracker do you have or have had in the past? I like to uh, use my Apple Watch um, because it tracks my steps and how many miles and also for how long I work out for. And it has different settings for the type of workouts that I use for, for that day. I use, I use my. Go no, you go. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, I used to use an Apple Watch, and then I decided I didn't like it, so I stopped using it. <laughs> I use uh, my Garmin um, Garmin Fitness Tracker watch, and that's what I use for like um, tracking my steps and distance ran and all that kind of physical activity. I use a Garmin for my bike and various apps for different things like hiking. Yeah, I used to use a walk. I don't really track more. Yeah, I don't really have a specific device. I just, my phone is really it. My next question to you guys is, do you usually alternate between different shoes throughout the week for your workouts, or do you just kind of keep them the same? Uh, I personally have my one pair that I use, and then I kind of wear them out, and then when they get pretty wore out, I'll buy a new pair. Yeah, I'm the same as Koi. I, I just wear mine until they basically fall apart. Same ones every time. I wear the same ones every time as well. I have um, a few depending on my outfit. I alternate, I alternate between two or three depending on the activity. Yeah, it just I'll depends alternate. what I'm wearing. Yeah, same here. I alternate between <laughs> activities. Um, do you guys feel that your feet feel comfortable or not as comfortable during or after your workout? And if so, why? Um, just kind of explain, like, do they feel the same or after you, after you work out or do they just feel the same throughout um, the whole thing? By experience, my feet generally don't hurt after working out or doing athletic activity. Uh, might be because I have a bad knee, so that always hurts. It might be taking away the, the pain from my feet, but yeah, I generally don't have feet pain. Me neither. Uh, I don't usually have feet issues either after a workout. Yeah, I'd say my shoes are pretty comfortable throughout and after the workout. Uh, mine are also pretty comfortable before and after the workout. Yeah, I'd agree with everyone else. Mine are pretty comfortable before and after. Same. My shoes are pretty comfortable. So kind of going further into that, is there like a noticeable difference in the soles of your shoes before and after a workout? Or would you kind of tie that in what you said before? I Not mean, my... Been... You good. Go you good. <laughs> I was going to say, not until months down the line when after I've used them over and over, I think the comfort of the shoes starts to go away. Yeah, I was going to say mine are kind of wore out. So, like, whenever I work out for a while, the sole will kind of, like, ride upwards and kind of, like, start poking out of the shoe. So, it's probably a new pair. I uh, don't notice a difference until way later. Um, I don't check my shoes, like, after each workout um, to see if there's a difference from the start. 
but after a few months or after however long I tell a difference, the comfort level might go down and you just see that the soles are a little banged up. I'll notice the difference if I wear different shoes, like on occasion or if I'm on a trip or something, uh, but not day to day if I wear the same shoes to work out. And you guys find yourself constantly retying your shoelaces during a run because they just won't stay together, sometimes even like double tying them? Yes. Mine usually stay pretty well, single tie. I double knot um, almost every time. I double tie too, but generally I wear shoes without laces. I usually I, double tie as well. I double tie as well. I uh, I single tie, but they never come undone. I double tie. All right, guys, we got two more questions. We're almost there. So would you prefer to stay like strapped or strapless um, for shoelaces? If so, why? This is kind of a confusing question. Do you want your shoelaces to have I'm sorry, do you want your shoes to have the shoelaces or no shoelaces where it's just like flat? Straps. You don't know what you're talking about? Like, like slip-ons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of like slip-ons and then like laces that have shoes. I mean, uh, shoes that have laces or like ones that are like Velcro. So like anything that varies depending on untied or tied. I, I prefer um, shoes with laces. Um, maybe it's just a bias because that's what I'm used to. But also I feel like you could... um adjust the tightness of it with the laces a little bit tighter or looser depending on the activity versus um if you just have a slip on or velcro I feel like you don't have as much flexibility with your um with the comfort level I guess I like uh laces too for, I agree with you um about the like adjusting how tight the shoe is but I also feel like I associate velcro shoes with children or toddler shoes um and they're not as widely available so I'm kind of just used to the shoelaces as well I'd say shoelaces but with like style too like I style thing so I like having shoelaces because you can color stuff like that I like mine without shoelaces I like the ones you slip on because they just feel the same every workout so I don't need to adjust anything yes, I would like I'm to comment oh on. sorry you go. Okay. If I okay. Eat, oh. Oh, yeah, I was just saying I like the slip on personally. I like the shoelace. It's more comfortable. And the last yeah, okay. question. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're going to say I, I agree with the shoelace thing. You know, it's more frequent type of shoe that you can get like versus like a strap on and I'm with Austin on that one I kind of view like the whole like velcro shoe with like those like old light up ones you had when you were like a toddler so that's just like the first place my mind goes to thank you so much guys um so we got one more question and it's is the use of athletic footwear incorporated in your daily routine besides working out slash running uh, I'd say I wear my like just casually because I'm style to them so I can still fit or something. Occasionally. I wear um, sneakers casually as well, not just for work, you know, like if I'm going to the store, if I'm hanging out the house or just need to have shoes on my feet, it's usually like some kind of um fitness running shoes or sneakers or whatever i agree with emmanuel because um uh, i sometimes i just wear shoes because they're the first ones available right there and it's comfortable for if i'm going to the mall or something yeah i, I, I wear shoes go ahead as i was just gonna say i agree with Emmanuel as well but that's pretty much the only time i would wear sneakers other than working out is just going to the store if I'm doing anything else, I generally don't wear them. I have specific ones that I use to like 
fit the vibe of like an athleisure outfit, <laughs> but they're still technically athletic shoes. I'm the same. Yeah, I, I like to do them casually. Alrighty, guys, are there any questions, comments, or concerns before we proceed? Well, thank you again for coming and participating. Um, we hope that you found our focus group somewhat interesting. And um, please mind that your answers and opinions are greatly appreciated and are a very important part of our study. If there are any questions or concerns, please don't be afraid to speak up or contact us separately. We want to mention again that all answers, comments, and questions in the focus group are confidential and anonymous. Anonymous, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. For coming to our focus group. And thank you again, you guys, for taking the time to come out. I know it was not what you desire to do on your Sunday, but we really do appreciate it, so. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. You're welcome. You guys have a good evening. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.